Studio 101. Hello everybody. I was just talking to myself as I usually do, but it's a good day though. It's Friday right now and we are on the interstate and uh, I just wanted to talk to y'all about doing you and creating windows for yourself um, to change yourself and knowing that you know when your circumstances are not set up the way you wish them to be um, know that you have complete autonomy to turn the steering wheel of your life in any direction let everybody be confused let everybody be confused you may be confused but you gotta do it you gotta do it to know to have a connection with your instincts because if you don't then you will fall to every whim every word to every beck and call by other people and you don't want to be like that. Man or woman. You don't want to be like that. I don't want to be like that. I'm not going to be like that. So, you know, like, I'm uh, 22. I'll be honest, like, I want my money to be better. I want my uh, relationships to be better. And there is no perfection that comes with that being a human but the pursuit of that is what I'm after and also um, I just want I want overall better for me um Also, my name is Remy, by the way. But all in all, I just want better for me. And I know that I can either watch my life go in the wrong direction or I can drive it in the right direction. And, you know, a lot of things seem futile right now because we don't have a lot of hope when we look onto social media shoving bad news down our throats, you know? It's kind of hard to be hopeful knowing that the world is about to cut loose, you know? Um, but I know what I'm going to do. And everyone should do, which is just remain in co control of themselves and just literally where do we where do we just remain in control, have that autonomy, and, uh, you know, like, make a plan, don't just do shit, make a plan, and, uh, I'd also say, most people don't talk about this enough, but grace for making mistakes is mercy for yourself, because when you fail, and then you bonk yourself over the head because you thought that that was embarrassing. You failing at attempting something great. You should give yourself grace. Was it your first time doing it? Trying to attempt something great? You know? Um, was it because when you attempted said thing that was great you know uh, you weren't confident enough that time or you didn't do it with enough finesse that time I'm speaking figuratively because I know a lot of people are trying to obtain goals and um, I know with every goal with every uh, route to a goal it's gonna be like that it's gonna be doubt and then you're gonna feel like shit and you're gonna think you, you're stupid you're gonna think you're dumb and uh that's where grace comes in 
And it's almost got to be like a delusion. Like you've got to be so deluded to where literally no one can break it. No one can break uh, what you think about yourself at all. Because then you'll get to a point where you'll just have like an inner glow about yourself. Because uh, you're in the full state of life. You're flowing. And people know that. And they feel that when you're around. You know? I've noticed it in other people when I wasn't in the flow state. You know? I'm trying to get back into my flow state. Doesn't mean that you can hold it for the rest of your life. But you can go in and out of it. You know? And that's what I'm trying to pursue. Like right now, I could lose my car. I could lose my job. But, you know... We gotta live, y'all. We gotta we gotta be excited. And you know the work that it would take to have some excitement in your life. But it's the fear of the experiences that you don't want to experience, that you need to experience, that I need to experience. It's that threshold, it's that wall that mental barrier it's just you it's just me and we're gonna do it this is me putting pressure on myself because you can get tired of your own bullshit and you don't want your old habits to you don't want to be a slave to those things, you know? You don't want to be a slave to those things. And a lot of people are because they're vices and they keep them afloat on their day-to-day, -day, you know? It helps them chill out, you know? Everybody got a vice. Everybody's got something that cuts the edge off, you know? But, uh, Yeah, speak in my mind. I think everybody should, uh, everybody else should do the same, and uh, everybody else should practice giving themselves grace, even if you did something stupid, because we all do stupid stuff. Even me, we all do stupid stuff. So you know, have grace. Have grace. You know, and God can give you grace too. God can take anxiety away from you. You know, have grace. Um, I think that's it. That's all I got. Happy Friday. Uh, yeah. Happy Friday. I hope you uh got a smearing off or something. I like I like wine coolers. Alright, I'm just yapping now. Alright.